This is Dean Barn, where local families have been plagued with disability for three generations as a result of the war in Vietnam. The reality for thousands of these children is that they are left with little to no future. The plight of these kids is even worse than you and I could ever imagine. Their lives are wasted as they spend their days in bed or are commonly given up to local orphanages. Here the children are mistreated, neglected and deprived of the opportunity to live happy and healthy lives. Up until now these families have had little to no support. What you're about to see has been 12 years in the making. Built on foundations of compassion, understanding and hope. Welcome to the Kiam Foundation. This centre is the only one of its kind in the whole region. It's been tailor-made and designed by a team of international professionals to ensure that only the highest quality of care is provided. The standard of care and the opportunities these children receive deem the Kiam Foundation truly unique. I'm Jackie from the Kiam Foundation. The Kiam Foundation is a grassroots NGO working with children with disability and their families in central Vietnam. Our centre provides a wide range of services ranging from mainstream curriculum education for those children who just have a physical disability a special education program for those children with learning difficulties. We provide a range of physical therapies such as physiotherapy, conductive education and occupational therapy. My name's Naomi, I'm an occupational therapist and so most of my time I spend here in the physio room working with three of our locally trained physiotherapists. And I'm, my major sort of role is equipping them with what they're doing um, with the kids, helping them to think broader about the children's day-to-day -day activities, um, so not just thinking about physically their muscles and how they move, but thinking about how they're going to go and collect a drink from the other side of the room or how they're going to go putting on a jumper and getting themselves undressed. Also looking at much more of their fine motor skills and really equipping them to think more holistically about how they do those exercises and where the child might go in the future. My name is Peng. I'm a member of the Australian Volunteers International. I've been in Kian Foundation for one year as a special education trainer. I must say that in that one year, I'm very impressed by the drive that the staff has exhibited and their passion to learn in order to help the children develop. And they have responded really, really well and I'm very proud of them. What we are trying to do is to get the family committed to their child's development. The way we are doing it is to bring the program from the school to the family. We are actually now getting our staff, training our staff to work with the family so that the families are more involved in the child's um, development. Through practice, that the child gets better and the child gains confidence as well the ability to initiate to plan and to engage their body in their daily activities. This is our Friday afternoon activities. Um, so the kids come and they're divided into four teams, so like four schoolhouse sports in a way, and it's a gross motor session. So the physios run this session in the afternoon, all about promoting the kids' big physical movements. So it often involves a little bit of music and dance, as well as some ball games and running or dancing or catching something to do with their physical movement and improving those skills as well as building unity across the different classes of the school and a sort of slight competitive edge to it. The Camp Foundation provides hope for families with children with severe disabilities. My name's Nick, I'm the, the business director for the Kian Foundation. Over 1,000 children with disability in Dien Ban, um, and that's just one district in, in the entire country. So we need the certainty that we've actually got the finances to be able to continue and really demonstrate that this model is effective. Financial commitment, somebody to step up and actually say, okay, like what you're doing, we realise what you're doing is really, really of, of huge value, I'm going to fund it. So all of our classrooms are named after animals and this is the Busy Bees classroom. What we mainly focus on in this classroom is behaviour. Once we've got them into a routine and they know what to expect and how to respond to different situations, then it really starts to work wonders for them.
This is the Tiny Tigers classroom. The main focus of this room is early numeracy and literacy and once they've mastered those skills they go on to the mainstream curriculum. This is the Laughing Lions classroom and these are our older children. We've got two groups of children in this classroom. The main emphasis of this classroom is developing them for their life after the centre. This classroom is called the Agile Antelopes. What they all have in common is that they either can't speak at all or they've got very, very limited verbal communication. So what they learn here is they learn sign language and we use a combination of speech therapy, visual phonics and communication aids to work with them. The standard of care that they receive is wonderful. Um, they receive a really nutritious meal, they receive teachers that can work with them in the classroom almost on a one-on-two basis. Um, so these kids really get a lot of time. It was just saying that everyone here is friends and we're all one family. Bye. For every child that is sponsored to come to our centre, there are at least six members of the family who will also directly benefit from the support and the services that we provide. As things stand now, we're only halfway to capacity at this centre, so we're helping about 50 children and their families out in the community. It's not enough. We need to, we need to double that. We need funding. Funding is absolutely what we need to make this model continue to be effective. Everything else is in place. We've got loyal staff, hard-working staff, staff who are genuinely compassionate and genuinely believe in what they're doing. They're delivering excellent services. We just need the funding to continue what we're doing. We need to increase the capacity, increase the reach that we have so we can help more children, work with more families. But that takes time, it takes resources and it takes money. Every single child's entered the Kian Foundation has shown significant improvement in their development. There hasn't been one child who hasn't shown great progress. These results demonstrate the achievement of the centre, but more importantly, they demonstrate the necessity for the centre. The program is a success. It works. And it's because of this that the Kian Foundation intend on expanding in the future by replicating their centre in other regions of Vietnam.